God is concerned about you. <laughs> Give him praise and glory. You, you think nobody cares. In fact, the devil will tell you that God doesn't care about you because if he cared about you, you wouldn't be going through what you're going through. But I come to tell you that God is concerned when his children suffer. And the thing that got God to move was them crying out and his concern about their suffering. If you want God to move on your behalf, I know people say sow a seed. No, I'm telling you to cry out to God. I'm telling you to lift your voice unto God and cry out to him who is your deliverer, who is sovereign in all things and who has all power and nothing can withstand. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Nothing can withstand our God. What's a surprise to you is not a surprise to your God. What has happened to you may have knocked you flat on your knees and thank God it did. Because while you're there, you might as well cry out to God who can deliver you. I want you to know that the only reason why the adversary want you to leave the relationship you are in with God is because he is afraid that the moment you, listen to me, the moment you decide to serve God, you will become even more powerful than him. And so the affliction that he is causing you and the circumstances that you are battling with is only an attempt to get you the crack under pressure and to give up. I'm, hear me, hear me, but you must have the same mindset that they had. The harder, the Bible says, the more oppression and the more they pressed them, the more they began to succeed and become prosperous. All because they maintain their crying out to God in the midst of oppression. Because they understood that no matter the circumstance, their God is sovereign. Their God is in control. And if anybody could deliver them, it could be, it would be the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, whom he had a covenant with, that they should be a blessed people that no matter what they go through, I'll deliver. 